The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgenholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Or maybe Lacerda is a nickel ante loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgenholt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea so there's no escape. Board her. Search her. Find out who Lacerda's been dealing with. And then, make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Fisher. We just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Nice night. Shh. What's the roster? How many men aboard? Total? There is 36 of us, I think. But that's including Lacerda and a couple of mean looking mercenaries he brought with him. Where's Lacerda now? He was just here 20 minutes ago, complaining about his quarters. He said he wanted another room. You won't find Lacerda where there is work to be done. Lacerda is probably drunk by now.
Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. I'm new at this whole revolutionary thing. I don't know what... There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. You gonna start that pump there or what? This stupid thing works. Captain Diego says hurry up or we'll sink. Well, if I do it wrong, we might sink faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda's shipments. All right. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantil Costa Fuerda Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar-chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Ay, 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 ay. Have you had a look around this boat? <laughs> yeah. Tell me you found the live raft. Somewhere on the top deck, on the side, and there's a powered launch on this train. Think there is enough for everyone? Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah. I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. 
I'll be discreet. What's going on down there? Stay calm. We don't want to make any sparks. Who, who, who are you? I'm the fire inspector, and I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off in here. What? Why? Can't you smell the gas? But... but I didn't think it was dangerous. Imagine you needed to stow your ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh, the men bunk up port side. Uh, just... Turn left out the back of the engine room. They've got a crate full of new guns back there. Maybe some other stuff too. I'm not sure. I won't fire my weapon. I promise. I won't. Tommy, what's wrong with this thing now? With the fang. That usually works. <laughs> Smoking like a luther. You're always hearing something. This time I'm pretty sure. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. What are you doing here? I would ask you the same. I have a knife. You go first. Right. Uh, I'm supposed to patrol around the office and the infirmary. What else is on this deck? Nothing. 
One deck up is the galley and the cafeteria. Below us is the engine room. I don't know more. It's my second day aboard. I don't know. The transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Okay, Sam. Judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. Hey, Toma! Have you seen Lacerda? No, but I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. are loaded up with Colombian best coffee in the world and the coffee tastes like bad guano exactly what's up with that because captain Diego buys the cheapest coffee he can find why because cheap coffee sweats more makes it harder for the dogs to smell what's hidden inside the coffee ah that makes sense still wouldn't mind a good cup of coffee. Tell me about it. Hey, stop fooling around and put the lights back on. You look like one of Lacerda's men. Uh, uh. That's right. Too bad for you. Tell me where I can find him. He's been wandering around in a bad mood. Said he was going to talk to the captain about getting better quarters. So the captain might know where he is. I guess so. I'm not really a bad guy. <laughs>
Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. Nice cabins here. What? You see, these are the officers' quarters. The captain's quarters are just down the hall. So you're an officer? No, just a passenger traveling with Lacerda. They let us use their quarters. You must be important guests. I think Lacerda is paying the captain very well. In arms? I, I think so. I don't want to die on this rusty old hulk. Six minutes. Maintain speed. Si, senor. Scopes are clear? Si, senor. Gracias. I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What? Who? I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda's been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of the Certus thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. I'm glad you're here, but my men will shoot you on sight. I'm glad you're So Lacerda is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. Let me see. Now where would that... Don't make a scene. <gasps> Madre de Dios! Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray... Please don't kill me! Lacerda, come on! Bring us a drink! Calm him down. Uh, uh, see, si. I'm looking for some rum. What, you need a hand? No, no, I, I'll find it. Good job. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... 
I don't know. I swear. I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. It ain't supposed to do that, is it? Not as far as I know. Six weeks out of warranty, and bam, the thing starts screwing up. Crap! Nothing! Who are you? Who? Who? You're not one of Lacerda's thugs. What are you doing here? I don't know. I... Who are you protecting Lacerda from? Lacerda has a lot of enemies. He's... Not very popular. What are the guns for? Lacerda's using them to pay off his debts, win some friends. He wants to organize in Peru. It'll never work. He wants to organize in Peru. He wants to or. Lacerda doesn't have brains or charisma. The newest release by the hot new alternative act, Tall Man. What does it mean to bootstrap? Uh, it means to accomplish something by using an entirely internal process. Why? The Americans say they will have to bootstrap a shuttle launch if they want to save the astronauts on the ISS. It's that bad? It's worse. They say that since the wreckage of the first shuttle is still attached to the docking module, the crew will need to spacewalk to the rescue shuttle. That doesn't sound good. Well, it will be two weeks before they can even launch the shuttle, so it might not even matter. And I thought this ship was dangerous. This ship isn't moving at 30,000 kilometers an hour. There are a lot of guys up here. Oh no, uh, uh, yeah, it stinks on this rat trap. The fresh air is nice. What's up here? Just the communication and server rooms and the observation platform. Anything else? There is an emergency ladder down to the launch at the stern. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know anything else. I love the smell of the ocean air. That was the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. Uh, come on. Enjoy it while you can. Before you know it, we'll be sweating some junk. I've never heard of anybody getting this <laughs> Madre de Dios! Hold it! I'll ask the questions. Tell me about the launch. The launch? The boat up there on the rack. All you have to do is pull the lever up there and get in. What else do you need to know? It's not mined or anything. Are you crazy? Why would we mine a lifeboat? Don't let me stop you. Don't let... Don't... 
Don't let me. Don't let me. Hmm. <laughs> 